What's going on guys? Sam Adams here and I hope you like zombies because they're coming to Black Ops 3, a game from 2015, in a DLC pack that's coming out in 2017. Starting in just a couple of days, PlayStation 4 owners that play Black Ops 3 are going to be able to purchase the DLC 5 pack known as Zombies Chronicles, which brings famous Zombies maps and really the full Zombies experience to the newest generation of consoles. And I'm talking really far back, like Call of Duty World at War Zombies, Black Ops 1 Zombies, and Black Ops 2 Zombies. Very important to note here that not all of the maps are going to be coming to Black Ops 3 from all of these games that have come out in the past, just pretty much the headliners, the greatest hits, so to speak. Uh, so from World of War, you have Knock Dare on Totten, the first real zombies map that really took the world by storm. Uh, then you have Verrucket and Shino Numa, very, very good zombies maps. Then you have four maps from Call of Duty Black Ops, which is what really brings my attention, which I love. You've got Kino, my lord, I love that map. Then you have Ascension, a fantastic map, Shangri-La, eh, and and Moon, slightly better than Shangri-La, but not the best Zombies map that's out there. And then to wrap it all up, you have one map from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is Origins, which I heard was great, but it came out late in the game's life cycle, so not many people really got to experience Origins to the fullest. So it's cool to see it coming to Black Ops 3, though with this being the fifth DLC pack, I'm not really sure how well it's going to be adopted by the audience. However, I do hear that Black Ops 3 is still very, very active, especially when you compare it to, say, Infinite Warfare, which is utterly garbage. The maps are not the only thing you get with your DLC purchase. You get some calling cards with your famous characters from Zombies on them, Zombies Heroes animated calling cards, and a limited edition camouflage tin can. Uh, so apparently it just makes your weapons look like a tin can. Not really sure why you wouldn't do something that looks like a ray gun. Maybe that's already in the game. I don't know. I didn't really play Black Ops 3 that much. Uh, but you can make all of your guns look like a tin can. Woo! Back to my point, the fact that this is coming to Black Ops 3 is very, very cool. Now, it would never come to, say, Infinite Warfare or Advanced Warfare, because, of course, those are not Treyarch games, so it just makes sense it would come to Black Ops 3. But my point is that Black Ops 3 in and of itself is genuinely a good game. It has a good color scheme, it has good... It's just a fantastic Call of Duty experience, and so to have more DLC coming that brings back some iconic fan-favorite maps from the entire franchise and Treyarch games overall... I'm down with that. For you Xbox One users out there, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are going to have to wait an extra month before you can get your hands on the Zombies Chronicles DLC pack because of that timed exclusive thing that Activision has with PlayStation, even though Battlefield now has one with with Xbox and Call of Duty, it, they, they like switched. It's weird. Uh, anyways, if you're on PlayStation 4, you can get it on May 16th. If you're on Xbox One, you can get it presumably June 16th. That would seem to make sense, but we'll just have to see because there's going to be a full reveal next week. So there you guys have it. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of On the Topic of. If you did, drop me a like down below. And also, if you happen to be new to the channel, I do upload new stuff throughout the week and I have been streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash blackcoffeetv. That should be like right there in that vicinity. So check that link right there and also it will be in the description box. But as for right now, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. I will talk to you soon. Peace.